from Russia, Alexei Yagudi. Four-time world champion, the Olympic champion from Salt Lake City, but his career in some jeopardy earlier this season with hip problems that forced him out of Skeet Canada and to withdraw from Skeet America after winning the short program. He seems to be on the men. We'll get a better gauge of that here. Well, I think you're going to see a very different Alexei here than from the Olympic Games. I think you're going to see a much more cautious, careful performance here. And we already know that there will be no quad in this program, which, of course, is a trademark element for him. Here's his opening combination, triple flip, triple toe. And this element is the critical one for Alexei, the triple axle, and he pulls it off. piece of choreography here, racing theme. Obviously doesn't carry a lot of speed throughout it, but the steps are very unique, very original. combination spin and I can't help but be impressed by the way his coach Tatiana Tarasova always seems to be able to pick music to find music that highlights the finest quality of her skaters she did the same with the previous men's Olympic champion Ilya Kulik and she continues to do so here with Alexei the other thing that amazes me Paul though is the fact that I mean this guy could barely jump on the warm-up he comes out here and has this uncanny, uncanny ability to just rise to the occasion, and he did it here. He opened with a triple flip, triple toe combination, scaled down for what from what he would normally do. He would normally have the quad jump there. Here's his triple axle. Doesn't get the height or the ice coverage as normal, and he has to skid there to hang on to the landing, but I'm sure he's incredibly relieved that he got those jumps done. Jump scale down, but still so much in that technical program and the footwork. Required elements, five five and five sixes. And there is Tatiana. There was a fear that he might have to retire because of the hip problem. Look at the presentation marks, five nines from all of the judges. But he certainly is encouraged with his progress in the last few weeks after a Caribbean vacation. And now let's check in with Paul Martini. Alexei, congratulations on a very solid skate. Now, you passed on the morning warm-up skate this morning, and yet you look very good out there. What was your strategy? It was pretty easy, my strategy, because yesterday we actually competed at the other event, so I just decided that we, we got so late, so I decided just to sleep, to relax, and then get ready for the short program. And I, uh, thank God, I've done it pretty well. Now, speaking of the short program, your injury has forced you to make some changes to the content that you would normally have in the program, but yet you still skated it very well. 
Has it affected your confidence at all, though? Yes, sir. Is it just you know it feels a little uncomfortable in the warm up and the practice still you know watching other guys doing quads, 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 and then I just can't do that. I can't let myself. I can't let myself do that at this point of the time. But it's getting better, and I'm trying to heal the problem. And hopefully in the future it will be better. But I still feel comfortable, and you know I have done. I'm really happy with the work what I've done here because I've done everything what I was needed to do. Good luck in the interpretive free skate. Thanks a lot. Yes, he set a high standard for the rest.